Hi, this project is a demonstration of data duplication removal using file checksum. Data duplication technology usually identifies redundant data quickly and correctly by using file checksum technique. A checksum can determine whether there is redundant data. However, there are the presence of false positives. Data de duplication has an important role in reducing storage consumption to make it affordable to manage in today's explosive data growth. The main aim is to develop this product is to maximally reduce the amount of duplicates in one type of non-SQL DB and increase the process performance. Let's see how the system works. There are two models. One is admin user and another one is the registration page. If there are any new members, he can register himself by clicking on to the sign up button and he will be redirected to the registration page and uh, these are the details he must specify and by using the username and the password he can uh, log into the system so go back to the login button first we will see the user login let's enter the user id and the password to log into the system so these are the files uh, the user already had so if you suppose you want to upload any of the file click on to choose file and select any of the file and click on open and upload it so you can see who you following file and uploaded over here. He can view all the files which are uploaded by him as well as shared by others. If uh, the user want to see uh, the file which is shared by other, so this is the file which is shared by other user. So we can search by specifying the file name, all file script search. So you can search by specifying the file name. Just click on to any of the file and once he clicks on to the file name, you can see the link button as well as the download icon. By clicking on to this, we can download the specific file and you can share this file to any of the members. So by clicking on any of the email ID, click on to the share button, the file is being successfully shared and here you can see the name of the file as well as the date of upload and you can even delete the file by clicking on to the delete button. This is how the user module works. Let's see the next module that is the admin login. Admin must specify the ID and the password to log into the system. Once the admin logins to the system, these are the modules you can access, view files, blog and unblock users. In view files, you can view the various files and by specifying the name of the file, you can search a particular file. So you can see the particular file. Once he clicks on to the icon of the file, you will be redirected to the file details where you can download particular file by clicking on the link button or the download button over here as well as you can see the file name as well as the date of upload let's see the next module that is block and unblock users over here you can uh, you can view various users available and uh, once he clicks on to the view button he can view various uh, files uploaded by the particular user as well as he can delete any particular file which is inappropriate and you can block as well as unblock the particular user and you can delete any user by clicking on to the delete button this is how the admin module works so you can see this user had been blocked by the admin so this is how data duplication removal using file checksum works thank you